Hey guys, it's Aaron Hofer Mobile Reviews A.ca and today I'm going to do a review of the Danny P wallet for the iPhone. This is a larger than average iPhone wallet case, but instead of trying to embrace minimalism like other wallet cases do, the Danny P wallet is designed to take all your cards and cash from a regular wallet and let you store your iPhone as well. It works incredibly well. It makes so much sense to me, but there are two drawbacks which I'll elaborate in a moment. Now, I haven't done a lot of wallet case reviews for the 6 only because I find wallet cases We'll say a little annoying, but I realize some of you actually might like a wallet case, and I'll elaborate on the fact of why I think it's annoying towards the end of this video. But I am gonna go out on a limb and say that if you're looking for a classy product that lets you store more than two cards, or one card and a bit of cash, uh, then the Danny P wallet's probably the best leather case you can get if you can afford it. If you're wondering what other accessories I love for my iPhone 6S, check out my best of the best post on my website. Links are in the I or the description section below. Real usage. Real reviews, mobile reviews a dot c a. At mobilereviews8.ca, I do all my reviews based on uh, actual usage. So with uh, fine, elegant leather wallets, I try to be fine, elegant, which generally always fails because I'm a brute. Um, so that just means that I put this in my pants a lot. Also, Canadian Customs decided this tiny package needed to be inspected by them. This is the first time this has ever happened to me, which I thought was odd. In terms of design, the Danny P Leather iPhone 6 case is made from real Italian leather, which adds to its elegance. But again, I'm a brute in real life, so I have no appreciation for this since, you know, I think fake leather on the solid suit's awesome too. Odd. The wallet itself isn't small, especially when you compare it against a slim wallet from Unnoticed, but that doesn't really bother me because all the cards and cash I ever need I can put into the uh, Danny P wallet. It has a slot for 5 cards or 10 cards if you want to double up, but then the wallet gets very thick. There is a pocket behind the card slots and a full length cash slot that is long enough for bills, but due to the design of you know the case, it's a little too deep at times. There is an even enough room for me to put my access card into the wallet. Now the iPhone sleeve has a cutout for your Touch ID so that you can easily access your iPhone for Apple Pay. The sleeve fits the iPhone quite well, which means you won't be able to use a case with the Danny P leather wallet case, even a tiny one like the K11 bumper. Now this to me is kind of a drawback because unlike other wallet cases, when you're actually using your iPhone, you've taken it out. And since you can't put a case on it, there's a higher chance that if you were to drop it, you would screw up your iPhone. However, you can add a bit of screen protection to your iPhone. And it's something I would recommend uh, to make minimize the potential scratch in your iPhone screen might go through with all the sliding it's going to do in and out of the wallet. In terms of protection, the Danny P wallet isn't drop rated, but there is a good chance that dropping your iPhone in the wallet isn't going to do much unless you are so lucky that when you drop your iPhone that the uh, point where the iPhone is exposed, the tallest thing that is on the ground hits it. But then again, it's the aluminum part of the iPhone, so it's not going to, I don't think it's going to, a screen's not going to shatter because of a drop from this direction. But if you're to drop it anywhere else, it's probably going to offer better drop protection than the toughest iPhone 6 case around. The functionality of the iPhone inside the wallet is almost non-existent other than accessing Apple Pay. Now, this is the second drawback because I did get a little annoyed when I first started using the Danny P wallet because I constantly had to pull my iPhone out to check notifications and stuff. With this product, I would say having a smartwatch tethered with the Danny P wallet is recommended because then you could check everything on your watch. Now, if you need to use your iPhone, you can actually pull it out and use it as an iPhone, not like a pseudo book or a pseudo Bible. And that's probably why I'm so annoyed with wallet cases because you have to open it up and you're kind of, it's like reading a book, reading a Bible, and it's kind of annoying. You see people like this, and I, it drives me nuts. Or they're talking on the phone, and it's like this thing is just... this. It's hard to not to stare at them because they've got the flat hanging out. Sometimes it's hitting in their face and they're talking to whoever they're talking to on the phone or they flip it over and they expose everything. It's like, hey, look, I've got credit cards. And every single time I see somebody at the mall or something talking on their phone like this with their wallet, I just want to go over there and pull something out because it's just it's it's staring at me in the face. It's just like, take me, take me. And that's why I get annoyed at wallet cases. So that's all I got. If you found this review useful, consider getting this thing through my site. Um, you can find me on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. It's so hot right now in the city that I am living in, and in Calgary, which is why Monty is just completely lethargic, and I'm sitting in the living room filming, sweating my balls off. Crap, did I just say that? Oh well. Um, find me on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Instagram and Facebook. I'm Aaron the Ho. Thank you for watching.
Or you have other wallet cases, which is like a case and there's a tiny slot for, you know, a cash and a card. And it's, it, again, it's one of those things, yes, we're all going wireless, Apple Pay, it's all nice and whatnot, but I have all my business cards in here. That's something I can't digitally not give, or I can't digitally put into my wallet. So, you know, when I have one of those cases, like an Incipio case, where you could store two cards, it's like, what I choose? A debit card or a driver's license? You know, it's stuff like that. Seems like a good idea, but I'm not a big fan of the Danny P wallet. It doesn't cut any corners. It's a wallet and an iPhone case all mixed into one, and it's pretty big.